Hey y'all, happy Friday and welcome back to The Heat Check, brought to you by Ball is Life. I'm your host, that girl, Kayla Nicole. We missed you guys so much this past week, but I hope you were all busy spreading holiday cheer and answering all those unwanted questions from family members you haven't seen all year. But first, I wanna know what was your favorite holiday NBA moment? Mine was watching my glorious Lakers blow out the reigning champs with or without LeBron. Okay, baby, let's go. And on that high note, let's get into our first story of the day. First up, the major high school holiday hoop tournaments provided some big time shakeups. The number one, number two, and number three teams all went down last week in the pre-holiday tournaments, which means our guy Ronnie Flores has some tough decisions to make when it comes to his next Fab 50 national rankings. Now, we can't remember the last time the top three teams all lost in just over 24 hours. Number one, Montverde had its 41 game winning streak snapped when it lost to number five, La Lumiere, 58 to 51 in the semifinals of the Iolani Classic. Number two, Oak Hill Academy lost to number 13, I'm Hotep Charter, 70 to 60 in the semifinals of City of Palms. Also in City of Palms, number three, ING Academy lost to number 28, Mountain Brook, 72 to 67 in the quarterfinals. Can't forget to mention that five-star forward Trenton Watford had a huge performance in the win for Mountain Brook, going off for 38 points and 12 rebounds. With all of those teams losing, I'm sure number seven Sierra Canyon would have loved to face La Lumiere in the title game of the Iolani Classic for a chance at the number one spot, but weren't able to because of CIF rules. And unfortunately for the Trailblazers, the worst scenario happened for them as they were held out of the title game against La Lumiere and lost to Montverde. Another Southern California team took a big hit as number 17 Rancho Christian, who had their eyes set on meeting Sierra Canyon later in the season, were shocked by Bishop Gorman of Las Vegas, 61 to 39 in the championship game of the Tarkanian Classic. Number 10, Mick Eatron is probably the biggest winner of the holiday season as the Indians won the City of Palms championship, beating Mountain Brook in the semifinals and Imhotep in the title game. Since number four, DeMatha Catholic lost to IMG, who do you think should be number one in our next Fab 50 rankings? Is it La Lumiere? Is it Mick Eatron? Give us your take in the comments. All right, y'all, we're sliding into our next segment featuring stories that will have you saying, get the F out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. The fuck out. And first up, Kevin Durant says GTFOH to the haters. In an interview with Chris Haynes on his Post It Up podcast, KD keeps it consistent with his theme this season of not giving a damn what people think. The Golden State Warriors forward didn't hold back when calling out anyone and everyone. Take a look. I've come to the conclusion that people hate the fact that I play for the Warriors and people hate the fact that I'm so damn good at basketball. It's not my fault when I say something, you get in your feelings. Mm -hmm. It's that, that you got some underlying against me already. So no matter what I say or how I approach anything, it's going to be a problem if, it all, if I don't agree with you because you just don't like me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's just the facts. A lot of people want to say facts about me, but that's the facts. Like, you don't like that I play for the Warriors, and you don't like that I'm so f***ing good at basketball. And you put those two together, and you get nothing but magic. And it's just like, it's just basketball nirvana, and people don't like that. So they just jealous of what I got. Are, are you? And I don't mind calling you out on your book. IG commenter at SimeonRemy23 responded to this KD video saying, quote, nobody is jealous. They just thought you had a competitive bone in your body. And that's just facts. Simeon's comment got over 2,260 likes. Now, what do you guys think of Katie's attitude this season? Is it fair or foul? Up next on the agenda, Kyrie tells his teammates to basically get the F out of here because he's about to go off and then proceeds to do just that. The Celtics guard scored 40 points in 40 minutes in Boston's Christmas Day win over the Sixers in front of a whole gang of his family. In a post-game interview, Irving said he made it clear to his teammates that he was going to take the game into his own hands, telling them, quote, my family is here, I'm acting up, you have no idea. I told my teammates, you know, I came in the locker room, I said, man, my family's here to watch me play. I got like 20 plus people from my family here, so I'm acting up, like, you guys have no <laughs> idea, like, I'm so excited. I mean, you gotta respect the man for doing what he said he's gonna do, okay? Go Kyrie, go Kyrie. <laughs> All right, y'all, it's time for me to give you a little heads up on a couple of stories I think you should know about. Heads up! Heads up! Heads up! The Greek freak's youngest brother is a 
marksman, all right? Giannis's younger brother, Alex, is a junior at Dominican High School in Whitefish Bay, Wisconsin, and he went all the way off for 34 points in a win over Whitefish Bay High last week. Now, Alex isn't quite the explosive athlete his brother is, but he does have a smooth shooting stroke from the three-point range. Now, here's another one I really liked. The unicorn goes East Bay at Torrey Pines. Jalen Green threw down a ridiculous between the legs jam Wednesday in San Diego. <laughs> Star sophomore led his team to a 57 56 win and provided the fans with plenty of highlights. Unfortunately, one of the highlights caught by our Ball is Life crew down in San Diego was ruined by some guy who stood up in front of the camera before a Jalen Green windmill. Thanks a lot, bro. One of my personal favorites, Donovan Mitchell gets a signature shoe. Spida's new Adidas shoe is called D-O-N, or Don, which stands for Determination Over Negativity. What do you guys think? Are you copping or are you dropping? Because I, I personally am picking up whatever he's putting down, okay? This man has a heart of gold and I want to see him win. Now, if that didn't tickle your fancy, do not fear because it's time for our LOL segment. <laughs> Steph Curry is caught eavesdropping on Lonzo and Rondo. With Rajon Rondo giving Lonzo Ball some coaching on the sidelines of Tuesday's game, Steph Curry decided to try and get some inside info too. Mm, cute, real cute, but the Lakers still got the dub, homie. <laughs> Thank you, next. Next up, dude messes up gender reveal with a Shaq-like free throw. Now there are two layers of hilarity to this video. The first being the guy practicing his shot from a short distance before breaking it. And the second is the reaction of the guy who was filming this failed moment. Yeah, let's get them form shots in. <laughs> I told it was a girl, and he clanked that thing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he clanked that shot. <laughs> All in favor of leaving gender reveals in 2018, say I. Okay, it's settled. No more. And lastly, we've got Daniel Tice inventing a new pass. The Celtics forward had a pass from Marcus Smart perfectly deflect off his back and into the hands of Kyrie, who then knocked down a three-pointer. Oh, God. Tice tweeted this about the dish, saying, quote, invented a new move specifically for NBA Christmas game. The off-the-back no-look pass. Do you like it? Well, guys, that concludes today's episode. But before I go, I hope you all know that this show isn't a show without your feedback. We always invite you guys to be a part of the convo. Whether it was the first story or the last story that caught your eye, don't be shy and let us know what you think in the comments. And while you're here, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay in the Ball is Life loop. Also, if you missed our last episode and you need to catch up, no biggie, just click right over here. And if you're a hoop junkie like myself and want to check out our latest baller ass highlight vids, click right over here. All right, y'all, from all of us here at Ball is Life, we are sincerely wishing you a super lit and super safe new year. We'll see you in 2019. But until then, thanks for keeping it locked on the heat check. That girl, Kayla Nicole, logging off.